Hey YouTube, Crystal here, and today I have a um, a few vintage toys haul and some board games. Um, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna try my best and let you know the ages of these or what I think they are, or not. And if I'm wrong, I'm sure somebody could correct me. <laughs> but we're gonna get started and. Uh, First, I have this. I had this 1992 Tyco Kitty Kitty Kitten, and it's so cute. It purrs. You, you can hear it. Can you? If you can hear it. And it's got air in its belly, so it was like, feel like it could possibly. So I guess it's like supposed to be like a real kitty. It does feel like a real little animal, I guess. I believe I had some of these when I was young, I can't remember. But I don't know what this one's called. So, yeah. There she is. What I could find on her, what I think is her, was a 2002 Purses of Galore Christie, and she was a Walmart exclusive. I love her face. She's just gorgeous. I love how they, how she's got this blush and her more natural lip color it's really pretty really like her yeah so there she is and definitely gonna probably have to have scissors to get this off of her we'll get her we'll get her unraveled i found this 1990s rub-a-dub puppy her name is missy and i love her because i love the blue and the pink together it's gorgeous I think this is by uh, this is by Tyco she needs cleaning and but I love her she's so cool I mean she was like a tub toy that you put in the tub with you I'm sh sure I had one. Oh, she says right there 1990 Tyco and I think I had a hard time finding something on her the other day and then I realized it was right there in her head and like her ears could get wet and then you could do like this and she could kind of like Splash you, I guess. So there's Missy, and I love her color, and hopefully I can clean her up because she's a little dingy, but I like her. I like those kind of toys. And then we got, I got this little puffet. Um, I don't, was, oh, there he is. Yeah, he's so cute. I think he is a zebra. 1978 and he's by Shram Puppets and he's so cute yeah, he has his little tag right here that's how I knew he was otherwise I'd be like in the in the um and then on the back you can see his little hair going there and little hair up here and his ears are nice and yeah he's pretty he's in pretty good shape for 1978 Um, Teddy Rutzman, he's not in the best of shape. I probably should have left him, but I hardly ever see Teddy Rutzman. So I had to pick him up in his next little walk walk. And there he, here he is. Somebody broke his neck apparently. I don't know. And yes, his, mech, his volume mechanism back here is broken. But his tape thing looks fine. And oh, no wonder he was so heavy. At the outlet, he would have been less. He had bunch, he has batteries in him that looks like he had batteries in the day since he was bought. Oh wow, those are like antique batteries in there. Oh my. But anyway, here he is. He's 1985 Teddy Rutzman, and I like him. Um, I used to love Teddy Rutzman. I had one, and I had the little grubby too. Yeah. And I used to like to watch the show, the movie, whatever it was. I can't remember. Um, here is a book that I found in the books. He wasn't with the teddy bear, but I found it in the books. So I was like, well, I guess that means we should get Teddy Rutschman. So there's him with his book. I'll probably fix him up some and get those decrepit batteries out of there. I'm a little scared of them things. <laughs> And then we have a G1 Lofty. 
a G1 so soft lofty. Yes, I already had. I already have one of her. She's on my shelf right now, but it was in the free pile at my Goodwill. I mean, at my local thrift. Goodwill does not have a free pile, <laughs> a free box of toys for children or anybody that wants them. They don't. And this, and she's in pretty good shape. Her hair needs to be. She needs a hair makeover and to be scrubbed up a little bit. And she does tilt a little. She does, unfortunately, have a little stand issue. Oh. And then, yeah, somebody's name is on it. I found this at my local Goodwill. It was $2.79 and it is a $19.85 My Little Pony Merry-Go-Round game. I'm sure, pretty sure this is a G1. <laughs> G1 ponies and I love it. But yeah, fortunately, the little thing got smashed through the box, but that's alright. And we're going to open it up and take a look inside what we got. So here are the ponies. Here's our little thing. Here's our thing that they... Oh, and you just... <laughs> okay, that was a little cray cray. But there it is. And it's night and it's... And it comes with the cards. I think I have all the cards. I think it has almost everything in it. Except for one of these doesn't have their little... Um, what do you call it? Oh, that's why it throat flows out because it's missing the little pad. See, the ones with the pads don't come out. Oh, they do have little cutie marks. It's barely hard to see them. But they have cutie marks. So cute. Let's look at the other ones. This one. Yay. I love the pastel colors. So pretty. And I believe that yellow one is Posy. Um, the pink, the peachy one is Trailer, Cherry's Jubilee. The green one is Medley. And that purple one, I believe, is Heartthrob. I'll show you because I got some of the cards. I got cards that come with it. See, here we have Cherry's Jubilee. I believe this is her, Cherry's Jubilee, and we have Posey. I love the cards, they're really pretty. And then we have Medley, which I really like. Actually, I have none of these ponies, so it's all near. And then we have Heartthrob, which is, she looks, she's purple. She is like totally purple here. Slight here, she's like a pinkish purple. I don't know. But anyway, so there. Oh, and um, the I don't know exactly how to play the game, but I know you're supposed to fill up the card with eight stamps. I guess you're supposed to be like I don't know. I don't know the whole basis of the game, so I'm not going to pretend, but I know he comes with these sheets, and there's a whole pad of them, <laughs> and you're supposed to stamp the stampers into each little hole, and then when you get a, oh, I love the castle, I had this castle, is that Spike, oh my, so cute, I love this, I need to like color this. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. So pretty. And you're supposed to fill up the... And when... Whatever you're doing... You're supposed to fill up these with a stamp. And whoever gets all the stamps filled is the winner. I just kind of got like that little thing off the internet. How to play because there's no instructions in here. Oh, you have... It has to land on the color of card you played. Okay, so like... Let's put heartthrob up here. And I guess we're gonna tort put it oh, we're just gonna spin it. 
Nope, it didn't land on heartthrob, so I don't get to move ahead with a stamp. I don't get to get a stamp. See, that's how it's played. It's like you just have a stack of cards and you just draw a card and you spin and if it lands in your color, you get to put a stamp. And unfortunately, the stamps don't work anymore, but you might could put a little bit of water in them and they'll work again. I don't know. A little alcohol or something. And unfortunately, the stickers are peeling off. But I... Whoa. Okay. Unfortunately, the stickers are peeling off. But I can probably, like, find a way to keep them from peeling the rest of the way off. But I like it. And I don't know why the thing burst through the top of the box. Seems like the box should have been... And thank you, Laura, for passing this along. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a while ago when she wrote her name on there. But anyway. Kind of cool. And then I think this is the last thing, I do believe. And I got a Barbie 1990s edition Queen of the Prom game. I got it at the outlet, so I think with that Teddy Rutspoon and a couple other things. I can't remember what else. It was only five dollars, so I think it did pretty good, and for it for everything. So I love this '90s Barbie. She's so awesome. I think I had her. I really do, and I might have had that Ken too. I really think I did. I had so many Barbies, and this is by Golden. I played with my Barbies for a long time. 1991 Mattel. Then let's flip to the back and. And yeah, unfortunately they stuck tape on it, so I lost some of the color to my thing. And, and as far as I'm, as far as I know, I think everything was here. It's pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna try to open it up. And yeah, my hair stuck to it because it's still sticky. And here is the little spin, the little spinner, which is really pretty. I like the little metallic thing. And yeah, there we go. I think the whole basis of this game is you start out as a regular girl, and then you, and then as you make your way around the board, you can become a prom. You, the first one to become a prom queen is the winner. And then we got these Barbie books. Oh my gosh, I love these. They all look the same, but I love these. Look at this. It's so beautiful. I really love the roses, and it's just awesome. And then we got some cards. I think all of them are there. And then we have I'm pretty sure this one's Kira. Or Kira. Um... Teresa, and this isn't Kira, this is the other girl, what's her name, I don't know, you can let me know who that is, is it, well that other one, I don't know, that one might be Teresa, the other one's got lighter reddish hair, that one might be Midge, I don't know, that one looks like that might be Midge, because, is that Frickles? Yeah, I think that other one is Midge. I think that is, oh, um, Teresa, the brown hair. And then, I think there was one more of these, I don't know. Oh, and then the other one is, uh, I believe that's Christy. It's nice that they added Christy in there. Hmm. And I'll show you all the cards. We have a, a suitor, I'm guessing. The Barbie, the Barbie horse. I think it's like the Western one. I can't remember her name. Then the Barbie Corvette, the chrome out, chromed out Barbie Corvette. I believe I had that, or I loved it. I don't remember. I guess these are vehicles that you can take to the um, to the prom. And then here's another little suitor. I guess that's the nerdy suitor. I don't know. Another nerdy suitor. I guess this one's supposed to be a an attractive one. I don't know. 
<laughs> and then a white. Oh, that's a Ferrari Barbie car. I think I had that one. Then we have this really pretty Barbie. I don't know which Barbie that is. Wish I did. Another Barbie. I guess these are different prom dresses you could wear. Wish I had all these Barbies. <laughs> And different, I guess this one's going with different, is different hairstyles. And two more different hairstyles that you can wear. And two more dresses. So pretty! Okay. We're getting... And then... I guess this is like your norm. I was like, this is before you turn into a prom queen. I think you can flip them over. Ta-da! And now you're a prom queen. And stick it back in there. Pretty cool. Yep. And they're just different. They're just all they're just the same thing, but they're just different colors for each gamer. For each I mean we have gold. Oh look at the gold, I love it. I mean the gold is my fave. So pretty. And then we have this, oh we had this really pretty metallic turquoise too, really pretty. I think my choice of games, if I would have been playing this, probably would be gold. <laughs> and then we have the game board, which I really think is really awesome too. Everything's awesome. And, ta-da, we have the board game. I wish I could get it all in frame. So yeah, there we have Queen of the Prom, Barbie. This is boyfriend, boyfriend. Dress shop, beauty salon, travel shop, home. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looks like Monday. Yeah, I was right. It was travel. But I love the picture in the middle. Prom king and queen right there. So, um, this is the end of my haul. It was not very large, I warned you. But I wanted to share these things with you so you can see them, see things that I enjoy, as always. And I really enjoy these vintage games, especially, if the, especially this Barbie one. It's Totally nice. Everything's there, it seems. So happy to get it. Alright, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Or if you like vintage toys, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to click those little links throughout the video when the eye comes up there in the right hand corner and click those because there's more videos like this i have loads of thrift hauls plenty more things for you to see and plenty more coming so make sure you click that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you'll get all my latest posts and thanks for watching remember to like and subscribe bye bye youtube and stay tuned for more views and pictures of these games and toys all right bye bye